next move on to the next topic which is set transaction how do we use set transaction command in sql we will see the usage of set transaction command in pl sql separately under advanced pl sql now we will see how to use set transaction command in sql at sql level only set transaction is a tcl command transaction control language command we know that tcl commands are valid within the transaction only so outside the transaction tcl commands are not valid so set transaction command is valid for the transaction only for one transaction only so using set transaction command we can change the mode of the transaction or the isolation level of the transaction if it is plsql the isolation level of the transaction can be modified using set transaction but in sql isolation level is not is not possible here so we will change the mode of the transaction that means while beginning the trans at the beginning of the transaction we set the transaction as either read only or read write by default the mode of the transaction is read write that means we can perform both read operations and write operations within the transaction this is the default mode we can change to read only mode that means we can perform only read operations within the transaction we can perform only selects we cannot perform write operations if the transaction mode is set as read only that means update insert delete merge operations are not allowed in the read only transaction if the mode is set as read only now let us see how to use set transaction command there is a limitation for set transaction command set transaction command must be the first statement of the transaction it cannot be executed as second statement or subsequent statement of the transaction it must be executed at the beginning of the transaction before starting of the transaction so commit we have committed here because the transaction will be completed a new transaction will be started now set transaction read it is throwing error correct syntax is it is giving the correct syntax help for us set transaction read only or write that means read only or read write two options along with read we can use either only or write so now set transaction read only transaction set that means we are changing the mode of the transaction as read only that means in this particular transaction only read operations are allowed that is only selects are allowed write operations are not allowed that is insert update delete merge into any table is not allowed select is only allowed but from any table now let us see select star from emp1 it is displayed select is allowed update may not perform insert delete update operation inside a read only transaction the mes error message is 100% meaningful but merge is missed out here merge is merge is nothing but insert update or delete may not be required insert update delete operation is not allowed inside a read only transaction now let us try with delete not allowed and the same error message 
insert into any table same error message this is the proof that within the read only transaction write operations are not allowed or when we set the transaction as read only we cannot perform any write operations in that transaction how the transaction will be completed with commit or rollback now commit transaction is completed set to transaction read only transaction is set we create a table table is created because it has auto commit transaction it will be completed before that before create there will be a, an implicit commit because of that the transaction will be completed so the read only transaction will be completed here table is created again we made it as read only truncate table before truncate there is an implicit commit so that the read only transaction is completed so it is able to truncate after setting the transaction as read only we can truncate because truncate is the ddl command there is an implicit commit once before the statement and after the statement due to before statement implicit commit the transaction will be closed so the truncate will succeed so there is a commit after this update one row is updated because transaction is normal now now set a transaction read write we got error message because the restriction is set transaction command must be executed at the beginning of the transaction that means this must be the first statement of the transaction because of update transaction is already started so now our set transaction is second statement that is why it is throwing error set transaction must be first statement of the transaction the error message is meaningful do a commit transaction is closed now execute set transaction read write yes transaction set now it is read write that means we can perform read operations as well as write operations in this transaction all are allowed select executed update succeeded delete succeeded after delete we select no record that means records are deleted insert yes one row created select record is displaying so when the transaction mode is set as read write we can perform both read operations and write operations within that transaction we don't have any restrictions this is the default mode of the transaction by default all the transactions will be started with read write mode if we want to restrict write operations in that transaction then we can set it as read only so that write operations will be restricted will not be allowed rollback due to rollback transaction will be completed we have committed also set transaction read only transaction set again we are executing set transaction read only still it is not accepting because this is the first statement of the transaction and this is the second statement of the transaction which is not allowed this must be the first always even though it is same statement it is not allowing committed delete from table transaction is started this is the first statement now we are executing set transaction it should give error it must be the first statement we got the error commit completed now set transaction isolation level read only isolation level of the transaction can also be set using set transaction isolation level cannot be read only the isolate see valid options for isolation level 
valid options for isolation level is either serializable or read committed. These are the two options that are available with isolation level of the transaction. What is isolation level? I will explain in PLSQL. Here we will see how to set the isolation level of the transaction through set transaction command. Set transaction isolation level read committed. The default isolation level of the transaction is read committed. This is the default option. If we want, we can roll back. Transaction is closed. We set transaction isolation level to serializable. Set transaction isolation level serializable. Transaction set. If you execute again the same statement, it throws an error because this must be the first statement of the transaction. Not only the mode of the transaction, also the isolation level of the transaction. Isolation level of the transaction is for PL SQL. At that time, I will explain what is isolation level. So, using set transaction command, we can set four values. One is mode of the transaction as read only or read write. Another one, isolation level of the transaction as read committed or serializable. Set transaction is a TCL command, transaction control language command. This, tra this command is valid within the transaction only. Outside the transaction, it is invalid. Set transaction command must be executed at the beginning of the transaction. It cannot be executed as second statement or subsequent statement of the transaction. Using set transaction command, we can change two values. One is mode of the transaction, another one is isolation level of the transaction. Mode of the transaction is at SQL level. Isolation level of the transaction is at PLSQL level. The default mode of the transaction is read write. That means we can perform both read operations and write operations within that transaction. We can also change the mode of the transaction to read only. In that transaction, we can perform only read operations. That is only select operations are allowed within the read only transaction. If we set the transaction as read write, then both read operations and write operations are allowed in this transaction. That is select is allowed as read operation. As part of write operations, insert, update, delete and merge operations are allowed. The default mode of the transaction is read write always. Unless we set the mode as read only, by default it will be read write. <clears throat> when we want to restrict the users not to perform any write operations in that particular transaction, then we make the mode of the transaction as read only so that they can only select, they cannot insert, update, delete or merge. And then we can also change the isolation level of the transaction through set transaction command. Isolation level is for PLSQL, not at SQL level. The default isolation level of the transaction is read committed. We can also set the isolation level of the transaction as serializable. That means when we say read committed, the committed data will be visible to all the users. That is the default option. Whenever we do a commit, the committed data will enter into the database. The data which is present in the database is visible to all the users or schemas. But uncommitted data will not be visible to other users. Uncommitted data will be visible 
only to the users who have modified it. But when we make it as serializable, even after a commit, the data will not be visible to other users. That means it will consider the data whatever is present while beginning of the transaction. At the beginning of the transaction, whatever the data is available in the table, only that data will be considered and that data is visible throughout the transaction irrespective of the number of changes happened in the during the transaction. That is what is serializable. This we will see practically in PLSQL. So, as of now, we have explained practically at SQL level. So, when we made it as read only, we got error when we try to execute, update, delete and insert. That means, write operations are not allowed in the read only transaction. Even the error message is meaningful, may not perform insert, delete, update operation inside a read only transaction. That means, we cannot perform any write operations here. And the one and only restriction with set transaction command is it must be executed as at the beginning of the transaction only. It must be executed as first statement of the transaction. It cannot be executed as second or subsequent statement of the transaction. It will throw an error. Even the same set transaction command cannot be executed as the second one. The first one will succeed and second one will throw an error. Once we make the mode of the transaction as read only, can we truncate the table or not? The answer is yes, because <coughs> once we set the transaction mode as read only, normally write operations are not allowed. But truncate will remove the data from the table, which is write operation. But truncate is a DDL command. Before every DDL command, there is an implicit commit. Due to this implicit commit, whatever the mode we set through the transaction, that transaction will be completed because of the implicit commit, which will be executing before the truncate. So, a new transaction will start now. So, the truncate will be succeeded and the data will be removed from the table. So, even after making the transaction as read only, we can truncate the data from a table. All the rows will be removed because truncate is a DDL command. It has an implicit commit before the statement also. So, first it will do a commit. So, the previous transaction will be completed. So, the mode whatever we set as read only before the truncate will be completed. That transaction will be closed. A new transaction will be started now and it will try to truncate the data. It will be succeeded.